of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, 7th of April, 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with election matters. Talks invade Labour Party headquarters in Abuja. There will be no interim government, says Defence Headquarters. Leaked audio. Peter Obey is a chronic liar and can't sue for defamation, says Shewere. Oin is the elders condemn ethnic profiling and demand Igbo attackers prosecution. To other national news, ahead of Easter holiday, federal government orders removal of barriers on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Air passengers stranded after FAAN and four marketers' disagreement. Census 2023. NPC to begin building numbering and household listings this April. Federal government approves 320 billion naira for universities. Nigeria records 823 Lassa fever cases and 144 deaths. I will curb insecurity with vigilantes and local hunters, says Plato State Governorship elect. Navdak seals Abuja shops for selling unregistered sex and answers. FRC prepares 200 mobile courts for traffic offenders. In business, incoming Nigerian government will face weak growth and multiple policy challenges, says World Bank. UBA grows loan portfolio by 605 billion naira. In international news, Israel accuses Lebanon of firing 30 rockets into territory. Guinea seizes 1.5 tons of cocaine from Syria loan ship. Twitter to show app ads to blue tick subscribers. Flutter wave denies hacking attempt. Get the most insightful analysis on everything football every week. My name is Ayomide Shuzbo and this is The Nutmeg. For sponsorship and advert placement, reach us through the following contact information. And lastly in sports, Saudi to offer Mourinho more than £100 million to coach team. Argentina tops FIFA ranking after six years. Lampard named Chelsea's interim manager. Get details of this news and more on our website tomorrow at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstands. Do not forget to follow us on social media at Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Ogunei. Good night.